Hi everybody, thank you very much for joining us once again. Quite really excited for this session. It's probability and today we're going to be looking at this quite interesting question on grid 12 contingency tables. Okay, um, a survey is conducted asking 60 people with which hand they write and what hair color they have. The results are summarized in the table below and we can see the results in the table and the question says, um, uh, I mean, another statement says the survey concluded that the hand used for writing and hair color are independent events. Okay, this is a very, very key, important statement and it makes sense. Eh? Uh, I mean, just thinking about it practically, the fact that you are right using a right hand, uh, left hand does not influence your hair color, right? It's it's independent, those two. So whether you write with the right hand doesn't mean you have a black hair. Someone can have a, I mean, you see, obviously those are independent events. Okay, so they're saying calculate the values of A, B, and C. Okay, A is someone who's writing using a right hand, having a light hair color. B, someone writing using a left hand, having a light hair color. C, someone writing using a right hand having a dark hair color okay so we're gonna try to answer uh, and find this uh, these values we cannot find them without using this key important statement that we're told that the hand used to write with is obviously independent of of the hair color you have all right what does it mean it means that the probability of um writing using any hand uh, i can just take maybe right or left you can choose any hand there uh, let me i'm just gonna choose the right hand and uh, the same probability of using a right hand and having any hair color i'm just gonna choose any hair color that is light will be the same as probability of writing using a right hand times the probability of having a light a color where are we getting that formula it's because we are told that these two events are independent so basically the hand used to write with and the hair color are independent events so what you do is because the hand used to write with there are two events it's either right or left you can choose any of those right someone might have choose to uh, to work out with the left hand to say probability of left hand and um, with the hair color we have two events also either it's light or dark and someone might have choose to work with dark right so you can choose any event between the two because we are told they're independent remember the independent events rule if a and b are independent we do know that the probability of a and b will be the same as probability of a times probability of what of b okay so that's where it's coming from okay after doing this we can go and solve what is the probability of writing using a right hand and uh, having a light hair okay let's check right hand see here uh, this is right hand and having a light color it's a can you see they're intersecting there in a okay so this probability is a divided by the total number of sample space they asked 60 people okay and you can see the total at the bottom there it's 60 so we divide by 60 will be the same as what is the probability of writing using a right hand just right hand irrespective of color now just right hand we check the column for right hand the total it's 48 okay can you see that so the probability of writing using a right hand it's going to be 48 divided by total, which is 60, multiplied by the probability of having a light hair color. So for light hair color, we're going to go to the uh, column for light, row for light, and we check light hair color. We have a total of 20 people, and uh, that probability is going to be equals to 20 divided by the total which is 60 can you see that now we can easily solve for a right so 
uh, to solve for a we can just uh, simply uh, simplify this side then we cross multiply so a will be equals to 48 over 60 times 20 over 60 this will also be multiplied 60 will go there and multiply multiplied by 60 then we can get our value of a all right so our a is gonna be 16 all right we got our value of a I can just go back to my table i put my a there is 16 then you can see that now it's quite easy to get the value of uh, b and c right because we do know that the total number of people who write using right hand whether light and dark if i add a plus c i'll get the total of what of 48 okay so i can come now and say but we do know that um, our a plus c is equals to 48 from the table right and i know a is 16 so i can just say 16 plus c is equals to 48 then so for c c will be 48 minus 16 and 48 minus 16 it's just gonna give us how much i think it's around 32 okay so the answer for c it's 32 okay so we got c now it's 32 i can also go and find b right because they're looking for a b and c how can i find b i do know that a plus b has a total of what of 20 i know a is 16 then i can solve for b our b will be equals to 20 minus 16 which is equals to what which is equals to 4 all right so we have solved for the value of a b and c the key statement that you had to use is that these two events are independent and from there you had to recall the rule for independent what does it mean if two events are independent it means that the probability of a and b will be equals to the probability of a times the probability of b so in this case you see that in your contingency table we have quite a number of events right uh, the event for writing using um, a right hand left hand those are two events you have to choose one of them to use right so i chose right hand someone might work it out with the left hand right so also with hair color there are also two events either you have light um, hair color or what or dark you have to choose one of them to use with so if i i choose right hand and light hand and i just go and say and use the independent event formula probability of right and light is equals to probability of right writing using right hand times the probability of having a what a light color okay like i said anyone could have choose other events you could choose working with light and right light or left and dark whatever events you can choose you still get the same answer okay i hope you find this helpful